Maybe this will turn into two videos. Hi! <laughs> Here's the thing. I just, a very recent, very recent, brilliant. I have woken up, made myself a lemon water as I do every morning. You can't really see it. Well, just trust me, okay? There's lemon in here and water and it's hot, warm. I can't take credit for this amazing headboard, by the way. We're still at Zach's parents' house. Brilliant. We're still at Zach's parents' house. <laughs> ah, I knew I was gonna film something today and I had different things on my list. And this video has kind of been in the back of my mind to do, or at least that I, as Elizabeth, would want to watch these videos. And then I was like, well, how about I just film myself watching them? So the lighting in this video might not be the best. My <laughs> feeling to a week, a week, brilliant. Me feeling to awake might not be the best. But you know, when you just get that feeling that you're gonna, you have to do it, otherwise you just won't do it. It has to be now. I woke up and I thought, well, let's just do it now. Just do it! So apologies if, I mean the quality is probably the same, let's be honest. <laughs> but I have already made my sort of beverage for the morning. Although I'll probably still have tea and then some coffee and then some tea again. Uh, but I'm going to watch my Simmons auditions and I don't know how I feel about it. I'm not a thousand percent sure exactly why I'm doing this, but I just think with everything, with the lives that's been happening, it yeah. just feels like there's something special around that. Now that I'm going back and doing it from season one, it just feels like we're at the start of this really cool journey and there's so many amazing people that are gonna come on and talk to you about how they got to where they are. I'm gonna talk about the episode. I'm just, I'm really excited about it. And the YouTube live watch alongs have helped me and are helping me to get out of a comfort zone of asking people for things. I don't love asking people for things. And for this now every week I have to contact people and say, hey, would you wanna come on? Here's the timing, da da da. Which is just such a small thing. And when I do it, it's such a small thing and people are always so nice. I, I don't know, there's something that feels quite special around it. And then Comic Book Resource, Resources put an amazing article up Aww. just at the time that I was feeling like, why am I doing this? Why am like, wh what do I have to offer? And why would people answer my text messages and calls to come on? And I don't know, I was feeling a little bit self-doubty, I suppose, and a little bit maybe worried about it. Um, and then that article came out and I just thought, oh, you know what? This is brilliant, just keep going with it. I really love it. I hope you guys love it. And we all we all get put in positions in life, I think, that help us to face whatever it is that we feel uncomfortable with. And for me, it's reaching out to people and asking people if they wanna do something or asking them for help. And now I will be doing this that every week for two years so here we go <laughs> so it just felt like a good time to face my agents of shield simmons auditions not face that's the wrong word but i'm not exactly sure how i'm gonna feel when i watch them so let's watch them all together so we left go on a little road trip two, two and a half months ago from LA because we didn't want to fly, blah, blah, blah. You know, you take like important documents and I brought my Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. audition, which is so interesting, isn't it? And obviously I, ha I have it. I keep all my auditions that I get the job. I usually keep. I mean, it hasn't been that many. <laughs> uh, but I brought this audition with me and look on the back as all the stuff of like where to go and my feedback and uh gosh my handwriting was so neat back then so maybe it was all just a sign that i was meant to do this and i think the whole point of this youtube was to help to show how i had maybe done things in case people wanted to do them too so i guess my simmons audition would be a good touchstone for that anyway i'm gonna open up ah this audition now uh, uh. so i actually have all of them. <gasps> okay. Uh, okay. Let me uh, stop. Stop, Elizabeth. I don't know why I'm making this such a big deal. 
don't even know what scene that it must be this scene oh i have seen two here i must have seen one down there too keep it in my little backpack you know okay oh my god okay this is fine this is fine oh, can you hear maggie um snoring she's at the end of the bed okay so this is my very first audition my first round Wearing. Is it? Exactly. Good question. What is this thing I'm about to show you? This <laughs> See, that is gonna blow your mind. Okay, one, I'll be the judge. Two, I'm in the middle of this and it takes deep concentration and extreme you not being here. So. Hey, don't make a thing out of it. Just wanted to show you my cool new thing. Okay, and three, learn more nouns. You haven't made it clear if this thing you're talking about is gear or one of your weird moles or a dead animal in your bag. Would I call that cool? I don't know what you're into. I have a device that I built. Much better. Then I need your input on sort of, or just it'll only work. It's so seven season one. That's like a you drop. What's the question? Can you create a paralytic agent that can cause near <laughs> instant quadriplegia when a dose no larger than eighty-five microliters is absorbed through the skin? Theoretically. <laughs> Theoretically, well, I don't. They get really there. close on auditions. I had no idea. Well, there are a host of factors at play. You know, the human body is not a machine. A benzodiazepine derivative might work, but I'd have to factor in weight. <sighs> Body temperature and age. Well, if the surface area was. Simmons! Do the math. No. Gosh, I don't remember this scene at all. There she is. If it could be delivered just below the subcutaneous tissue, then. Into an injection. Incision? Mm -hmm. Just to get through the careum, then we could. How deep? No less than a centimeter. This reader was so good, too. Sometimes you just don't know you're gonna get it. When you're a genius. Uh, can we just invent this? Bullets that can be fired point blank with a semi-automatic into the chest, drop you to the ground in a heap, and most generously, not kill you. <gasps> the night night gun. That's a cool thing. And it was only the one weird mole. Thank you for removing it. There's no way we're calling it the night night the gun. Bullet. That's so lovely. It's a shame you can't see the full length picture on that because I had on that blouse, obviously I've done all the way up to the top and they did me a huge favor by just showing my waist up. My Fred Perry vintage cardigan that I got on the back streets of Sheffield where I grew up in this very cool vintage shop. The top half looked great and I thought my hair looked pretty good too, like not too overdone and um, I mean, I know that hair would have taken me about an hour and a half to do, and it just looks like I threw it up, but that's fine. This is fine. But on the bottom half, I have a gray, just below the knee, kind of woolen skirt with black tights and a little belly pump flat. So here was my feedback from that session. Here's what it says on the bottom of here. That's what I'm reading right now. Oh, and I've highlighted it in pink. This is so neat. I love how neat I was. It says, loved Elizabeth's style, but felt she was too buttoned up. So yes, jeans and a sweater plaid shirt would be a little more casual. The specific words they use for Simmons wardrobe is hip, casual, cool. Makeup should be natural. Oh no, so this is for my, yeah, this is for my test. This is the ABC, these notes I'm looking at now. And I've got a little schedule, 7 a.m. lines, 8 a.m. get ready. Leave at nine. And I put traffic, etc. in the Arrive at 9.45, audition at 10.30. Because you have to arrive for tests and stuff. So this is the, this is round one that we're looking at now. Then there was a round two, which I don't think I have. And then I have round three, which was the test. And um, that's what these notes are for. So round one was at a casting office um, in Los Angeles with Sarah Finn. She's absolutely amazing. The way her office is, it's a... Uh, a converted house. It's very friendly. It just feels like you're going to somebody's house. So that was what that audition was that you just saw and you're kind of just in one of the rooms downstairs. I mean, it's nobody lives there, but it just has that kind of vibe. And then the second round audition was with all the EPs, uh, Joss, Jed, Whedon, Marissa Tantrone, Jeff Bell, Jeff. I can't remember if Jeff Loeb was there. Maybe he was. I feel like there were four people on that sofa though. 
Anyway, that was a, a more of an office building down in Santa Monica. So that felt a bit more official than obviously all the EPs were there. Freaking Joss Whedon aren't sitting on a sofa and here you are doing an audition. So that felt a bit more nerve wracking, even though I don't remember that first scene. Maybe I only brought one scene. One moment, please. I just have scene two. So that was scene one, maybe. I don't remember that at all. Although we just invented the night night gun. How cute is that? An ISA. When did we invent that in the show? It's the night night gun. Oh, it was in the pilot because that's what we shot. Jay August with. I love that I did that audition is that I didn't look too much at them. I was really focusing on whatever it was that Simmons was doing, which was quite good. I think I'd watched Rachel McAdams screen test for The Notebook. I think she famously started away from the camera and everybody was saying, oh my gosh, how amazing that she was so natural that she didn't even need to look at the camera. Actors were so aware of where the camera is and obviously they need to see your face. So I wonder if I'd thought about Let's channel Rachel McAdams and not look too much at the camera. Clearly it worked. <laughs> well, got me through to the next round. Let me find this one. Oh!